I hope this video helped you. Um, I hope you all get into the universities that you would like to or any career, etc. that you're... Yeah. Um, oh, that was so weird. Okay, results day is coming up. My friends messaged me, results are out. All right. It is what it is. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm back with another video. Today's video is a bit of a spontaneous, last minute kind of video, which I thought I might as well do. Um, because given that next week is results day, next week on Thursday, the 16th of August, is A-level results day. So I thought it would be smart to upload a video today giving you guys advice about results day how to go about it how to prepare for it what to do and all that jazz i haven't really prepared for this at all i haven't really put down any notes like my first year experience video i literally was like yo i ain't got time for that let me just sit down and talk and i'm just gonna pretend you're like one of my brothers because actually coincidentally enough one of my brothers is collecting his results next week um and i'm just gonna give you advice like the big sister i am um and hopefully you guys can put that advice and internalize it take that advice sorry internalize it and put it to good use please excuse this mess on my head like literally i was like I can't be asked. Today's one of those days, you know, because I'm actually preparing for holiday, so I'm packing my clothes and I just need to throw that hair up in the way. Oh yeah, you haven't really noticed, but it is I mentioned it, sorry, but this is my new brides, the new colour. Let me know if you like it. Um obviously I'll showcase it properly in another video or something um where I actually take the effort but today is more of a chill day and I want you to see that I'm feeling chilled so you should be feeling chilled and this is exactly how you should be feeling for results day so if you guys would like to hear about how to prepare for results day and get some good advice make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching I guess before I really get into the advice and stuff I thought it would make sense for me to tell you my experience of results day how i found it and etc and then from that i can start bouncing off ideas of like advice and stuff and um kind of we can work from there anyway so year 13 now it's been a very stressful year and i went through a lot of stuff year 13 was like an up and down year for me i saw some of the worst lows that i've ever seen in like my educational history I guess you can say um, so it was a, it was a hard time for me year 13 and so now that my exams are finished I remember my last exam was for maths and I was literally like like I'm not gonna lie to you that exam went so badly and I literally sat in an exam and I was like at this moment in time even though there was like five minutes ten minutes left of the exam I was literally like I am done get me out of here let me be free and let me have fun in summer and so that's what um, happened luckily so summer came I had a good time um, I went to for example wireless last year um, which was I think my first time going to wireless yeah it was my first time going to wireless which was a great experience summer was just a time where I was literally like just enjoy yourself and relax because a level has been such a level sorry have just been such a a stressful experience and you need time to detox and relax so your girl was binge watching tv shows that's one thing i can definitely remember just because i needed time to chill obviously working making my coin but your girl was chilling most of the time august comes now and as soon as august hit i went into a nervous like a nervous fit essentially like I started panicking I was like oh my gosh this is it there's only two weeks because I think results day was on the 14th when I 
got my A level results. So it was literally like results days in two weeks time. Um, I am shaking. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, those those days trying to go to sleep was like a mission because literally every time I would go to bed. I'd be thinking about results day, dreaming about results day, dreaming of what could happen, what was good, what was bad. Also at that time I would go into YouTube and I would find results day videos for advice and stuff that I could get and that's why I'm doing this for you guys. And that was literally me in the lead up to results day and again like after exams finish I went with this mentality with like okay I'm not gonna talk about the exams like I'm not that kind of person who really comes out of an exam and was like what did you put for this question what did you put for that one because that really just psychs up my anxiety and I'm like no like I don't want to think about the exam the exam is done I can't change my answer so I'm gonna talk about what I put down do you know what I mean so I just wanted to forget it and just move on from that um from that experience and so yeah like in August I was trying to do the same thing trying to push it out of my mind out of sight out of mind and just say you know what you can't do anything um, you can't change anything and now it comes to the night before results day and I was shaking like I do not know what happened yeah but my body was just you know like I it was crippled literally crippled by fear like because so much was riding on results day because I'd applied for Oxbridge, I was successful, I got an offer from Oxford and I was under so much stress to meet that offer and I knew that if I didn't meet that offer a lot of people would look at me some way and stuff and I, I was like I don't really want to deal with that and I was just so stressed, really stressed and I think the fact that I got an Oxbridge offer contributed to this to the stress and like the you know the unhappiness of my year 13 experience because I had so much pressure to do well so much pressure to make sure that I got the grades and you know I was putting a lot of pressure on myself as well as getting pressure from other people you felt like wow like they're all proud of me and I want to make them proud and I want to show them that I can do this and so if I flop it's going to feel devastating so the the night before results day I literally couldn't go to sleep and you know results day you collect your results at like 9 10 in the morning so obviously I would have to get up early to catch the bus like I catch two buses to get to my sick form um but I couldn't go to bed so it was this kind of vicious cycle and I was literally like every time I would try to go to go to bed my heart rate was just pumping like it was beating so fast and I just couldn't do it and so I think one piece of advice which I heard was like to basically try and remain as calm as possible um to remain as calm as possible um especially the night before and just kind of internalize that you can't really do anything this is it you know take what happens and just run with it and so one i think i got this advice I, I don't know where i heard it but someone was saying how they used to watch kids films or something like that and i was just like you know what i'm gonna do that and so i watched despicable me um two i think i watched it was on netflix basically i went on netflix and i went all the way down to the kids section right and i just watched family films comedies all that kind of stuff and it actually just made me feel so good and it made me feel so happy and it made me feel so free and it actually got to the point where my nerves and my stress and my anxiety just disappeared in a way and so I was finally able to go to bed then obviously results day comes now and no one really wants to see other people on results day I don't know about you but definitely for me you don't really want to see people because a lot of the time you really want to just take that paper and just walk out and just react by yourself anyway um i go go to go to where my surname is collect my results and i go i didn't even leave the room like we had a bit in a hall and i didn't even leave the hall sorry um i literally opened the paper looked at it and then you know when you see the grades and you just put it back in and you're like okay cool I didn't do as well as I wanted to, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, so my results day wasn't your typical, eh, it went well, I got into the uni that way. I really wanted to be that person that like, you know, when you, when you look in and you're just like, you know what I mean? But 
that wasn't me but for me I have this really weird thing and I don't know why but I have this really weird thing where if even if things don't go my way I'm able to like for a second internalize the pain and then think okay Hattie what are you doing next what happens next and that helps me because it means that I don't have to worry about all the pain and the sadness and all that stuff I can just focus on the next path and focus on what's coming on next and how to progress obviously because a lot of people knew that I got accepted into Oxford you'd get people coming up to you be like oh did you get in did you get in and so I had to do the whole nah but oh well like Edinburgh is like a great place and like I'm looking forward to it just as much and who knows this might be a blessing in disguise so that was basically my experience um, on results day um, and I think one thing that helped the fact that I got into Edinburgh and the fact that Edinburgh starts really early was I didn't have enough a lot of time to be sad over the fact that I missed my Oxford offer I had to just switch up and change up because I now had one month to buy all my stuff for uni pack up and move out for uni which was happening in a month but that helped me concentrate on someone else so I didn't have to worry too much about my results so on to the advice um, like I said earlier one piece of advice I think you need to internalize especially after the exams have been done is that you cannot do anything to change your result your result was already determined the moment you basically put your pen and paper down at the exam and so going over summer right and stressing over oh my result oh my gosh like i can't believe like you know all that stress yet is actually not needed like i understand it's good to stress you have a lot riding on it but there's no point stressing over it because you can't change it think about what's next what you're going to do and how you're going to progress also i would recommend the night before results day right take time to relax de-stress detox and do something you genuinely love whether that means going with your friends and having fun and actually not talking by it at all or doing what I did and staying up and watching kids movies as stupid as it sounds it works it helped me and you know it helped calm me down you need to keep as calm as possible and obviously right I know because I've been there done that it's not that easy it's easier said than done but the more you do to keep yourself calm and the better things happen for a reason and we are we're here to learn from our experiences and grow essentially and I don't know for everyone but I'm like a big believer in like God so a lot of the time I'm literally like yo God's got this he knows what he's doing if I flop now it's probably for a reason maybe you have a bigger purpose maybe there's something else that you're meant to you're meant to accomplish maybe you have a greater purpose to achieve at Edinburgh that you then you do at Oxford maybe your experience at Edinburgh will be way better than your experience at Oxford and in hindsight I can kind of I can't say for concrete that it is because obviously I haven't gone to the other uni but in hindsight I can say that I have um, that when applying to Oxford um, I did compromise a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do so that I could just get into Oxford for example I wanted to to do a study abroad um, Oxford doesn't offer that Edinburgh does um, I wanted to study international relations Oxford doesn't do that Oxford does history and politics whereas um, Edinburgh does the degree that I want and so I realized that I was making so many compromises um, and that probably in the long term I wouldn't have been as happy as I am now there's no point saying oh my gosh I got these grades when you can't change them might as well look forward and be like okay I've got these grades what can I do with them and how can I progress again for results day um, what I did was for every kind of, um, this is a tip that Ibs Mo gave me, but from his video, shout out to Ibs. But um, basically, for every grade boundary, 
kind of write prepare what you're going to do beforehand so this is before results day this is something you can do in the week leading up to it but for example to get into oxford i needed three a's right so that would be that would be option number one if i got a a b it meant i would get into edinburgh if i got a b b it means i would get into edinburgh if i got b b b then maybe i would go to clearing or i would opt to do my a levels again and so having that plan at least meant that on results day i could be like okay these are the grades that i've got what am i doing this is what i'm doing let's go um one thing that you realize again on results day especially because now yeah if especially if you're going to university you might want to go through adjustment or clearing just to let you know clearing is clearing and adjustment are essentially the same thing but basically universities put out all their extra vague um extra spaces for certain courses and you can go through there and then probably call up and apply a lot of people have said and one thing that i've definitely seen is that post results day everyone just goes on a frenzy and everything kind of goes a bit crazy especially on that side of clearing and adjustment so make sure that you are prepared um have potential uni options have potential backup um degrees um that you might want to consider also 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 say i missed my edinburgh offer right before results day make sure that you've got the number of for the admissions team so if i did miss my edinburgh offer i can call up edinburgh and be like look i might have missed my offer by this grade but i still really want to study at your university what can i do and there might be some room for negotiation and there might be some room that they still let you in because there have been cases where people have just missed one grade so for example instead of getting a a b they get a b b um and they've still been let into the university what i really want you to take away from this video is that a piece of paper does not define who you are and what you can do all right now in the heat of the moment right and i can i've just told you my experience i can definitely say that when you get that paper you feel like oh my gosh everything is over if you failed um you might feel like a failure you might feel like you're crap you feel like you're dumb not smart but you need to remember that in 50 years time 10 years time even five years time you would have moved on from the situation and you would have picked up and you would have grown don't worry about the reaction from friends and family because at the end of the day they all love and they care for you they want the best for you and yeah they might be upset but at the end of the day this is this is your grade this is your life these are your choices it's like for example and i can't 100 percent compare to it because obviously i've not experienced it but when you go through a heartbreak right or a relationship ends um you could stay in that place forever right but you choose not to why because you you won't let that experience define who you are and you shouldn't let results day do the same results day is just a day a day in your very long life god willing you can't just let those couple of seconds define how the rest of your life pans out no way what you do next is what matters you can still retake you can still probably opt for different career paths for example going for an apprenticeship you could start working or something making that money making them coins become an entrepreneur say if you raise enough money from that you could probably find another university whether it be through clearing to actually continue your path and maybe even have a better experience than you anticipated so please don't let it get to you please don't let um, results day stress you because you're too young to be stressed over these things like i think that's one way our education system fails us because it makes us into these exam hungry 
people as in we have to pass we have to do well so we can get here we can do this and we can do that but it's 2018 people the world is changing education used to be the direct way the direct journey you had to take in order to get to certain career paths but we know that there are several different ways to get success and get to those career paths in this current day and age. There are people, billionaires or uh, millionaires, etc., which don't might, might not necessarily have a strong educational background, but they're there being successful in what they love to do because they didn't let those experiences and they didn't let the negative times define who they are. Everyone will experience negative things in their life. It's what you do and how you respond which counts and shows who you are and displays your character. So please, I urge you, urge you, urge you, don't let results day get to you. Um, don't let it affect you as badly as it did with me. I'm not saying, right, after results day, you need to bounce back and you need to be ready in the game. No, I'm not saying that. You have plenty of time to kind of just relax and think about what you want to do. Take the week following results day to decide what you want to do and how you're going to respond. And, you know, your, your action plan, decide your action plan. Take that week to be upset and or be happy because if you if you did well congrats to you don't let results day define you it's just another day in your life and you will get you will get past it i promise you you will definitely get past it and you will definitely progress because like i said in a couple years time you will not even think about results you'll be like results day who results day what like look at me i'm stunting on these you, i'm not trying okay Maybe not. Like Mr. Furious Bash said, Mr. Furious Bash was my head of year at sick form. He was the best. Um, if life gives you lemons, make lemon tea. <laughs> so, you know, you've always got to find the the good and the bad. Make light of a negative situation. Find the positive in the negative, and you will definitely overcome this experience. Good luck for results day. I believe in all of you and I hope you do well. If results day didn't go as bad, didn't go, ugh. if results day didn't go as well as it did, don't worry, you've got this, you will progress and you will do well. Think onwards and upwards, my friends, onwards and up. Um, let me know if you get into your universities because I've seen some of you saying that you've applied to Edinburgh as well. So if you do get in, let me know because it would be so great to hear from you guys. Um, but I think that's it for the video. So as I always do, I'm gonna duck and dive and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys.